What's up guys, Jacob from Fuel Tech, Tech Support Supervisor. We're here with another Tech Tuesday episode. Today we're gonna go over setting up the EGT4s, cover some common questions we get and show you basic plugging them in and also show you stuff on the software side. So, let's get to it. All right, before we start, I was gonna show you our neat little mobile test bench. We're gonna start bringing this with us to the track. If you got a low amp draw something, a, a nano, an O2 sensor, a, any of your sensors, this thing's got a TPS on it, we can test anything track side. We do have a big not mobile test bench that we use when you guys send stuff in, you have a problem with a product, we can run it, check all the ins and outs, but this is something more portable and kind of easy to bring in here and set up a video for you guys. This video, we're mainly diving in when you got to set up more than one EGT box. When you have to do one, it's pretty simple. You plug it in, set your stuff up software side, it just works. When you have more than one, we have to assign as a B box, a C box, a D box. You can run up to four on the same ECU. We're gonna do this like a Chevy firing order. One, three, five, seven on one side, two, four, six, eight on the other side. I made some labels. It's not uncommon for guys to do stuff like this. All right, we got our labels on now. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. This would normally be driver side, passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and plug them in and work on setting them up in the software. All right, now we're on the software side of things. We're gonna go through setting up from scratch. We're starting out up top where the fuel table is. We scroll down, find CAN communication and EGT4A. This is gonna be like the driver's side. So we're gonna do one, three, five, and seven. B box, passenger side, we're gonna do two, four, six, and eight. So we've got these changes in, we're gonna send this to the ECU. Now this is where the setup part gets a little tricky. We'll go to tools, can network. Right now it only shows us one box. We click, it says conflict, more than one of the same equipment model connected in the can. So any of our EGTs out of the box, it is an EGT for A. We need to configure the other ones, B, C, D, whichever one you have. The easiest way, since they're both called A already, is we're gonna unplug our A box, so 1357. We got that one unplugged. We come back, it just shows one EGT4A. The only one plugged in though is our B box. We need to do change to model B, write it. Let this thing load, okay. Now it only shows the B box, which is 2468. Let's plug back in the first one. Now we have both EGT4 A and B and the cylinders are assigned correctly to how we have them labeled. All right, that pretty much covers everything you guys need to know about setting up your EGT boxes. If you have anything else, uh, let us know in the comments below. It'll be something we cover next time and we'll see you next Tuesday.